Hi, my name is Ayaka Guido. I am the executive chef of ABC Kitchen and Cocina. And we're here on Yes Chef. We're gonna cook a Dutch baby today. I do love a Dutch baby because it's so fun to make. They're like really fun to eat and a great table presentation. It's one of our biggest brunch dishes that we serve at ABC Kitchen. What I love about making this dish for a brunch menu is everyone eats a pancake, but they're a little too heavy, so this is like really light, fluffy, airy, and then you can still like enjoy the rest of your day. So in order to make a Dutch baby, you want to make sure we preheat the oven. We want to preheat the oven to 410 and put your cast iron in. All right, so now we're going to let that cast iron heat up uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. You want it to be really hot because like you want the Dutch baby to like rise up. Now we're going to mix and uh, make our batter in the blender, which is super simple. Try to make it a night before if you can so you can let the batter rest. Because whenever you're um, blending, it's kind of adding a lot of air into it. So um, it can kind of like compress. All right, so we're going to start with our eggs. I'm going to use eight eggs here. We're going to crack them into the blender. So what made me want to be a chef was I actually really hated high school. <laughs> so I found out there was a vocational school and you could take a half day off of high school basically, which is pretty awesome. I found out they had a cooking program. I couldn't cook, my parents couldn't cook. I figured I should learn how to cook. And then I actually fell in love with cooking and found this whole other world that I'm just like obsessed with now. Then we're gonna add our sugar. We're gonna add our flour, salt, um, and then you can do the ground cardamom and a little vanilla. And then we're gonna add our milk. And we'll bring it over to the blender. So for the blender, you just wanna make sure you're smooth, making it a puree and smooth. <laughs> So now our next step would be to put it in the fridge overnight. So when I started at ABC Kitchen, it was really awesome because I love farm to table cooking. It's right next to the market. You literally have to go through the market to get to the restaurant. So it really makes it like fun to get inspired by the food every day and kind of see what we have. And also like talking to the farmers and they kind of, you know, showcase something they have like for the day. It's like a very close to home of like farm to table cooking, which is what I love. So I'm very excited about it all. Grill station, pasta, uh, saute, and then we have hot dogs down there. All right, so we're gonna go to the oven to grab our pan. Don't put your hand on it because you're gonna burn yourself. <laughs> but yes, you can feel the heat coming off of this pretty uh, well. So it's really important when you're doing the butter for the Dutch baby, okay? You have to make sure you're getting all the sides and everything. Basically, the butter is allowing the mixture to rise and it's not gonna stick to the pan so much. So it's really important to kind of get in there and you can see the sizzle is great. Ooh. Then we're gonna do about eight ounces of the batter. And then we're gonna go straight to the oven. It's really important to not keep opening the oven when you do this as well. And then we're gonna keep it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Can we set our timer? <laughs> I got you. Thank you. Working with John George is amazing. He is like the most humbling chef you could ever work for in your career, and he's very inspiring, very like personable, and he's like, I don't know, he always just makes you feel really good about like, and reminds you that it's, it is cooking, but we're here for the food and the people. And I just love that about him. It's not this like, you're scared of him when you see him. So he's a very like approachable, but like knows what he wants kind of guy. And I love working for him and with him. So whenever we do opening, he's like always there checking in with us. We have meetings once a week where we do tastings with him. So whenever we want to get a new dish on the menu, he would come in and try the dishes. Could not have asked for a more beautiful Dutch baby for us. So we like to add a little lemon zest to it. And then powdered sugar.
sugar to finish. Thank you so much for having me here at Yacht Chef. Come to ABC Kitchen and get a Dutch baby.